Another day, another story. Deep fake technology refers to the use of deep learning and artificial intelligence to manipulate or generate digital content, particularly videos and audio recordings, which appear convincingly real but are entirely fabricated. The term deep fake is a combination of deep learning and fake, highlighting the use of deep neural networks to create realistic but falsified content. While this technology has garnered attention for its creative and entertainment possibilities, it has also raised significant concerns due to its potential for misuse. Usage and applications. Deep fake technology has a wide range of applications, both positive and negative, which can be categorized as follows. One, entertainment. One of the most common and benign uses of deepfake technology is in the entertainment industry. Here it can be harnessed for digital resurrections. Deepfake algorithms can recreate deceased actors or celebrities, enabling their participation in movies, commercials, or music videos. Impersonations. Impersonators and comedians can use deepfake technology to mimic famous personalities, enhancing their performances. Voice cloning. Deepfake algorithms can imitate voices, potentially allowing voice actors to replicate famous voices for dubbing or voiceovers. 2. Research and Development Deepfakes have applications in scientific research and development. Human Behavior Study Researchers can use deepfake technology to create realistic simulations of human behavior, facial expressions, and emotions for psychological and sociological studies. Training and Simulation Industries such as healthcare, aviation, and military can employ deep fakes for training simulations, providing a safe and controlled environment for learning. Free identification and security. Deep fake technology can be used for authentication and security purposes. Biometric verification. Deep fake detection and generation technology can be used to test and enhance biometric security systems. Cybersecurity. By studying deep fake technology, cybersecurity experts can better defend against deep fake based attacks. 4. Art and Creativity Artists have explored deepfake technology as a medium for creativity. Visual Arts Deepfakes can be used to create surreal, dreamlike visuals and animations. Music and Sound Deepfake-generated music and audio can be used for artistic expression. How Deepfakes are Created Deepfake content is generated using deep learning techniques, typically employing a type of neural network called a Generative Adversarial Network, GN. The process involves two primary steps. Training and Generation Training, deepfake models are initially trained using vast data sets of images or audio recordings. During training, the model learns the patterns, features, and nuances of the data. For video deepfakes, these data sets often include thousands of images and videos of the target person, while audio deepfakes require extensive voice data. Generation Once the model is trained, it can generate new content. When creating a video deepfake, the model combines elements from the target and source videos. For audio deepfakes, the model uses its learned voice patterns to generate spoken text. GANs, used in the training process, consist of two neural networks, a generator and a discriminator. The generator creates fake content, while the discriminator assesses its authenticity. The two networks engage in a back-and-forth process, with the generator continuously improving its output based on the feedback from the discriminator. This adversarial learning cycle continues until the generated content becomes highly realistic. How deepfake technology is dangerous. Misinformation and disinformation. Fake news. Deepfake videos and audio can be used to create convincing false narratives, making it challenging to distinguish fact from fiction. Political manipulation. Deepfakes have been used to manipulate the words and actions of political figures, potentially impacting elections and public opinion. Privacy violations. Unauthorized content. Deepfake technology can be used to create fake content without an individual's consent potentially leading to defamation, harassment, or exploitation. Revenge porn. Deepfakes have been used to generate explicit content featuring unwilling participants, a form of cyberbullying and revenge porn. Security risks. Identity theft. Criminals can use deepfakes to impersonate individuals for fraudulent purposes, such as gaining access to secure systems or conducting financial fraud. Voice phishing. Deepfake-generated voices can be used in phishing attempts, luring victims into revealing personal information. Trust erosion. Media trust. The proliferation of deepfakes erodes trust in the authenticity of media, making it challenging to rely on video or audio recordings as sources of information. Let's review some real-life examples. Positive examples. Digital resurrections. Audrey Hepburn. In a commercial for Galaxy Chocolate, deepfake technology was used to bring iconic actress Audrey Hepburn back to life. The commercial seamlessly integrated her image into new footage, 
showcasing the potential for reviving beloved figures in the entertainment industry. Deepfake art, surreal imagery, artists like Mario Klingemann have used deepfake technology to create surreal and thought-provoking visual art. Their work explores the boundaries of reality and imagination, showcasing the creative potential of the technology. Negative examples, political manipulation, Joe Rogan. Deepfake, a deepfake video of podcaster Joe Rogan was created, manipulating his speech and gestures to make it seem like he was endorsing a political candidate. This exemplifies the potential for deep fakes to manipulate political discourse. Revenge. Porn non-consensual content. Deep fake technology has been used to create explicit content featuring individuals without their consent, constituting a severe invasion of privacy and potential harm to the victims. Conclusion. Deep fake technology is a double-edged sword, offering a wide array of applications that range from entertainment and creativity to research and security. However, it also poses significant risks such as the spread of misinformation, privacy violations, and security threats. Thanks for watching.